Well, this is a special time of year in the European footballing cycle. It's where it all begins again. The lifting of the trophy, the winners' medals. That was all back in May. A mere reminder, a relic of the glory that was and what may be to come, perhaps, for one of these. And this must be amongst the favoured arenas of supporters all over the world. It really does have a very special feel to it. So it's back, bigger and better than ever before. I do hope everybody is ready for another ride on the emotional roller coaster. Bring it on, Peter. I'm looking forward to a competition that always delivers entertainment, whether through its football or indeed its supporting cast of, of emotions. Neither of these teams will want a, a trip back to the drawing board after this, so I think we can expect something quite lively. So off we go then. Jim, you've played in games of this nature. Who can make the difference? Yeah, Thiago Silva. He's a player who doesn't seem to have any weaknesses at all, Peter. He's strong, he's quick, he's technically gifted and very comfortable in possession. What I particularly find impressive about him, though, is his consistency and his reliability. He just never seems to, to make a mistake. Opposition strikers could be in for a hard time of it today. Yeah, I must agree, especially in view of his ability to lead and organise the defence. Ivan Marcano. Just to point out, Peter, that the fullbacks are quite high. And what do they try to achieve? Well, it's obviously a move to push um, the opposition wide men back and, and give them more to think about. Hudson Otoy. And the finish! Oh, he's managed to get it all wrong. Well, there are a few pockets of space that are being exploited and they need filling and fast. Gruich. Tries to get it forward quickly. And it's played forward. Jorginho. And that's a foul. Free kick's been given. from immediate danger and that has been cleared and it's Chilwell gorgeous control there Conte Porto get it back again. Nicely measured pass. Shoots! And it's a goal! What 
there was a hefty deflection, but he's claiming it. A 1-0 lead established. Well, just listen to the reaction. I think you can hear the approval from the support all around the stadium. And here's Felipe Anderson. Loses his balance and loses the ball. Well, the crowd clearly liked what they just saw. Some real no-nonsense defending. Hardly anything between the sides, and the score is 1-0. I think that's offside. Yes, it is. Chilwell. Thiago Silva. Hoists it high. And that has sent him sprawling. Hoists it forward. He gets past his man. Oh, real danger here. And there's the end of the first half. And there we are. Off they go for half time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half. But there has only been that one goal. It is very, very tight. The first half thoughts. Well, I think there's plenty to be pleased about with that first half display in terms of the score and, and overall approach. Beating 1-0 at the break. Already up and running for the second half. Well, 1-0 may be good enough, so they may err on the side of caution and, and get more players behind the ball instead of running beyond it. They could even try to, to spoil it from here, we'll see. Jorginho. As Pliqueta is charging up on the overlap. Oh, that is asking for trouble. Goes for goal. Really well taken goal. And this is getting better and better. Oh, it's a keeper's nightmare, Peter. He just couldn't pick up on it until it was way too late, having so many bodies in front of him. starting to look very comfortable that second goal is such a, a polarizing effect on prospective moods I mean one team are under more pressure now to get the next goal and the other with has a hit yes! and they are cruising away Chelsea are really pouncing on any stray passes in midfield. We're talking seconds from interception to the back of the net. It's counter-attacking heaven. without reply this is becoming a stroll well unsurprisingly Peter the opposition looked completely stunned I'm not sure they can gather themselves and it's Felipe Anderson he's played him through And 
here's for, it's Felipe Anderson! Oh, the keeper's done just about enough. Yeah, maybe the circumstances are beginning to heap on the pressure because they're trying to force it. Thiago Silva tries to stroke it through. Now it's Felipe Anderson. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Porto uh, keeping their men at arm's length here. Yeah, I just think it's a, a conservative move to deny runners the opportunity of, of going beyond that rear guard. Gets it back. Thiago Silva really got caught in a trap there and he just couldn't get out. Kante goes looking. Shot a goal! And the ball's come out. Thiago Silva. Going for goal! Now a chance to break. And he's cut it out. Oh, he's in! Oh, shooting chance! Oh, and they've been caught out here. As Pliqueta, he's gone for it! Played out to the right. Can take a scorer already in the game. It's one! He has done it! Results no longer in doubt. It's just about how many. Swift, incisive, deadly. All done in a matter of seconds. That's just brilliant counter-attacking football, and as soon as possession was theirs, it triggered a move of devastating speed that was just too hot to handle. Time for a change in personnel. Yeah, it's pretty obvious as to who was going to be taken off. His energy levels began to, to sag, and he was never going to last until the final whistle. Things looking so easy, almost too easy here. Fourth official showing that there will be three minutes of added time. Oh, it's Kante. The referee brings it to a close. Oh, that's the way to launch the campaign. And they can look ahead with confidence and comfort. So, Jim, how do you reflect on what we've seen? Well, pressure can quickly build on you if a positive result isn't achieved in your opening group match. Instead, they can take great confidence now from a very good victory and look ahead with real belief.